My name is Dr Lorraine Brennan and I'm a Principal Investigator in the Institute of Food and Health and the Conway Institute here in UCD. Today I'm going to tell you some of the work that myself and my research team perform here in UCD. We use te a technique called nutrigenomics to understand the relationship between the food that we eat and the promotion of health in our bodies. So my research team here in UCD are working on a number of different projects and these projects are related to development of new dietary biomarkers and new food solutions in particular to help control metabolic diseases such as type 2 diabetes. So traditional methods for collecting dietary information for patients is often unreliable. Therefore there's an increasing interest in identifying biomarkers for a more accurate measurement. Metabolomics is a technology that offers great promise in this area and I'm using it to identify dietary biomarkers. In order to do this we assess the relationship between uh, dietary lipids and dietary data in volunteers. We applied a statistical strategy in order to reduce the lipid metabolites into patterns and then we linked these patterns with habitual dietary intake in volunteers in order to identify dietary biomarkers. We identified six novel lipid patterns. One lipid pattern was very predictive of dietary fat intake and we identified a panel of six um, metabolites. Another pattern was very predictive of alcohol intake. In identifying these lipid patterns and metabolites, we will be able to better assess a person's dietary intake and in turn we should be able to better identify the relationship between diet and health. I'm Elaine Drummond and I'm a postdoc working with Lorraine Brennan's group. So I'm currently working with Food for Health Ireland, looking to develop new functional ingredients to offer health benefits to the consumer. And at the moment we're looking at metabolic diseases, especially type 2 diabetes. So we're looking to deliver a functional ingredient that will help people control blood sugar levels. We are looking to test milk-derived functional ingredients in volunteers. So we're looking at various populations such as overweight people and people who are already diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. We bring them into UCD and we give them the milk-derived ingredients in a beverage and we give them that with their breakfast. And then we analyse their blood over the course of two hours. So we look at things like plasma, insulin, glucose and various hormones to see how the milk peptide is affecting the blood sugar levels. We find some really positive indicators that the milk peptides are being successful at controlling blood sugar levels. So next step is to see how exactly the peptides are having this effect. And to do that, we'll be looking at more detailed trials to try to gauge the mechanisms of action. And also we're working with the food scientists in our team to deliver the ingredients in a food. So that involves some new, um, more complex matters about how to get the ingredients to be stable and also to make sure that they're pleasant and palatable for the consumer. So that's important as well. So our work in the area of control of blood glucose management has potential academic and industrial impact. Defining clear mechanisms by which these milk peptides confer beneficial effects in terms of glucose management is a clear next step for us. In terms of dietary biomarkers, we believe that our, the use of these dietary biomarkers can help us understand further the in, impact of di diet and in particular dietary patterns on health and in future the use of these biomarkers in large-scale studies should help develop clear public health messages about dietary eating.